Dean RJ, in collaboration with the Church of Pentecost Worldwide, presents Appreciation of COP Originals coming to you every week with spirit-filled songs, words of encouragement and more. Starting from the 1st of August 2020, climaxing the season on the 24th of October 2020 with a virtual concert. Follow us on social media, Facebook, CNRJ Photography, YouTube, Charismatic, and Instagram, CNRJ Photography. Don't miss out on this powerful experience. Praise the Lord. My name is Charisma Kwe, and I welcome you all to another episode of Appreciation of COP Originals by Sina J. Today we will have an interview with the Agbo hitmaker Elder Rima Kwe, all the way from Germany, my biological brother. Before we get to the interview, please enjoy this video by Ghana Babo Tree, one of our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, to see Najay's appreciation of COP Originals 2020. My name is Emanuela Boahene and I'm from COP Germany. I'm the presenter at CNRJ. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in and watching us. Today, we are going to have a very interesting interview with our dear Elder Rema. Yes. Elder Rema. Yes, please. It's a pleasure to have you. It's wonderful to be here. How are you? I'm blessed. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm also very, very well. Thank, Thank you. God. Thank all right, God. let's just straight get to this. Yeah. <laughs> Elder Rima, yes, we all know you to be a very vibrant person, very mm. engaged when it comes to the things of this church. Mm. You are also birthed and bred in the Church of Pentecost. You were raised here. So please tell us how the COP original songs have shaped you into the person that you are today. Right. Thank you very much once again for having me here on your channel, on your um, production. Um, the songs of COP or the COP original songs have um, shaped me a lot um, because I've re um, realized that in every situation that you go through, um, God has given COP a lot of songs that goes specifically to the um, problems and the struggles that you are going through. So. Um, in every situation in life, whether in good times, in bad times, when you go through hardship, I've always had a song of COP that goes with the situation. And even there are some songs you can take one of them and it goes through every situation. Yeah. Some songs like Mojani Mo, Mojani Mo. Mojani mo na tu mi wo Mojani mo Mojani mo Mojani mo na tu mi wo So when we're talking about power we say tu mi wo Tu mi wo Tu mi wo Jesus ni mojani mo when we're talking about healing, we just say Ayari Sawa. Ayari Sawa. Ayari Sawa. Jesus ni Mojani. When we're talking about life, we just say Enkwa Wa. Enkwa Wa. Enkwa Wa. Jesus ni Mojani. So, yeah. This is how the songs have impacted my life. Wow, this is so interesting and this is very empowering mm. at the same time. Mm. So now we realize that you are really, really engaged, yes. you know, with the yes. COP songs. Yes. So do you also listen to other gospel music oh. apart from the COP songs? Can oh, you tell yes. us about that? Yes, yes. I listen to other music as well. Um, I emphasize a lot about, um, in the COP music. Mm -hmm. 
I emphasize a lot on our songs, but I also listen to other music from other people wow. that right. are lyrically filled. So, yes. can you give us like one or two songs, you know, other gospel songs? Oh, when it comes to dancing, there is mm -hmm. a song called uh, Regular. Ah, okay. By Messi Chimu. Yeah, it goes right. like this. You they bless me on a regular. Wow. On a regular. <laughs> <laughs> on a regular. Nyafu, nyafu. Yes, so when it comes to dancing, this is a song I like. And then when it comes to worship, um, there is a song by uh, Don Mon. It goes like this. I just want to be where you are. Dwelling daily in your presence I don't want to worship from afar Draw me near to where you are Wow Yes Alright, so would you say that you could differentiate from COP songs mm -hmm. and other gospel songs like? And if yes, what is the difference? Um, I would like to say for some it might be hard to differentiate if this song is from Pentecost or not mm -hmm. but a lot of times um, for example when it comes to praises we have our own line that it goes yeah. but um, what makes me differentiate or most of the, of the times um, differentiate COP songs with other songs is that our songs are not just lyrically biblical but they are also Holy Spirit filled mm -hmm. And most of the COP songs were also not just written because of we need a song sake, but I can say 90% of our songs were songs that the Holy Spirit just chipped in in a sermon when someone was preaching or when someone was going through hardship. And I would say that the difference between maybe COP songs and other songs yeah. is the power of the Holy Spirit behind it and the presence of God like it's a it's another level mm. there are some things you can't explain but you experience it mm -hmm. and that's what I feel when I listen to COP song I ex experience the presence of God mm. yes. all right okay so um, for those who are not aware our elder Rema is one of the young people of this church who really connects to you know the COP songs so, Elder Rima, yes. why do you put so much emphasis on the COP songs when it comes to our generation? Wow, thank you very much. I really love this question because it's a question that I've been getting a lot from mm. people. Okay. Um, I believe that every church or even every society, every business has their value. And even when we are talking about covenant, for you to be able to tap into the blessing that is uh, together with a covenant, you must uh, fulfill the requirements. And I always say that you can never charge an uh, iPhone with an Android, Android charger. charger yeah. You cannot charge Android with an iPhone yeah. charger. True. And in COP, we have values and it is prayer, it is holiness, it is discipline. Yeah and their songs are also part of it mm -hmm. i um some days ago i was reading something in the bible mm -hmm. in malachi all right guys at this point if you have a bible with you please just join us oh yes let's open the bible to malachi chapter 3. all right let's do that yes malachi chapter 3. Mm -hmm. um i'm reading from the new king james version yes. malachi chapter 3 verse 6 going mm -hmm. for i am the lord I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. Mm. Yet, from the days of your fathers, you have gone away from my ordinances mm. and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, mm. says the Lord of hosts. But you said, in what way shall we return? Amen. Amen. You see, I have realized that um, from the time of the founder of our church, um, Reverend James McKeon, yeah. may his soul rest in peace, um, to our current chairman, Apostle Eric Kwabna Namiche. Yeah. It is six generations. And we always hear our parents and our grandparents talking to us about 
the power that they experienced, mm -hmm. the presence of God right. through the songs. Yeah. And there was one time in a city in Ghana called Asamankasi where Pentecost yeah. actually began. Right. And they sang and prayed so much that they saw physical fire appearing on their um, ceiling. It was in 1907, <laughs> way back. And in every generation, we were hearing these very things. Mm -hmm. But in our generation, it is more about complaints. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say that if throughout these five generations, they could experience the power through the songs, mm -hmm. they could experience the presence through the songs, yeah. People who were demon possessed just because of the singing of mm. songs, they were set free. Delivered, yeah. And we are complaining, then the mistake comes from us. Mm. And if we check our um, people in our generation too, we realize that, uh, especially the ones in our church, they don't patronize in our songs. Mm. So there are a lot of these signs and wonders we don't experience anymore. And I believe that when God made a covenant with the COP, mm -hmm. Part of the covenant was also through these songs. Mm -hmm. And so I am um, as it was told to them that from the time of your fathers you departed from my ordinances. I can say that in our generation too, we have departed from um these singing of these songs. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that if you return to me, I'll return to mm -hmm. you. So I believe that if we start singing these songs yeah. again, we shall see a shift in the atmosphere. Right. Yes, and there was a pastor called um, Pastor Samuel Edu. Mm -hmm. He's also in COP. Once he was preaching in uh, our church and he said that in the former times, the songs that we used to sing, when you were living deep in sin, when you hear this song, you will automatically repent mm -hmm. because you know that now this song is the Holy Spirit singing. Yeah. But we are in a time where we say everything goes. But I believe that if we start singing this song, we will... We will see purity, mm -hmm. holiness, yeah. the power and the presence of Amen. God. And this is why I patronize so much in our COP songs. Why? Mm -hmm. And another reason is other people from other denominations sing our songs. They patronize our songs. So how much more we? Mm -hmm. um, there was a man of God we all know, Reverend Eastwood Anaba. Yeah. He stood on his great platform and he was actually hailing our songs. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage our youth that it is about time we patronize our own songs and we shall see the glory of God. Wow. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for this lovely conversation. Thank you for having me. I believe that we are all blessed mm. by uh, this conversation. Mm. And yeah, thank you family for watching us. I believe that you're blessed. Have a nice day and may God richly bless you. Amen. The Lord bless you.